Hey guys, it's Ryan here from Explained, and in today's video, we'll be watching a German thriller movie called Iron Doors from 2010. This story is about a man who wakes up after a night of drinking and finds himself trapped in a small room sealed off with an iron door from which there is no escape. So let's get started. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a man, seemingly an office worker, waking up. He has a pounding headache. The next moment, he comes back to his senses and he looks beside him. He's frightened by a dead rat lying next to him. He soon realizes that he's been locked inside a vault. The room is about 40 square meters with a closed iron door and a cupboard in it. There are lots of flies in the room buzzing around his head. One of the fluorescent lamps over his head is full of dead ones, but there are live ones either buzzing around the man or breeding in the dead rat. The man looks at his watch to check the time, and it's 9.32 in the morning. He then tries his best to unlock the iron door, but to no avail. He shouts and knocks at the door, but gets no response at all. With no knowledge of how many hours he's been inside the vault, the man very badly wants to use the bathroom. At first, the man thinks his situation is some kind of a prank. He specifically suspects a colleague called Fletcher. He mockingly says to himself that once he gets out, he'll be firing his assistant. But as time wears on, he realizes there's no sign of any physical activity beyond the vault door. He takes out his mobile phone from his pocket to call his colleague and ask for help, but there's no mobile signal. He walks around the room to catch any signals, but fails. That means he's lost contact with the outside world. He walks towards the iron cupboard to open it, but the cupboard is also locked. He tries to look inside the cupboard through small vents in it, suspecting that his colleague Fletcher is in it, but gets no response. Walking inside the room, he tries to find any hidden cameras but finds nothing. He becomes more puzzled and gradually loses his patience. To vent his anger, he starts to verbally abuse his colleagues. The man is extremely infuriated and shouts by saying that he'll paint the walls with the defecation if the door is not opened. He unfastens his belt and bangs it on the iron door, hoping that someone will listen to him. He gradually feels tired and calms down as he has no food and water for a whole day. He continues to scold his colleague by threatening him to hand him to the police if they don't let him out. But yet again, he gets no response back. A day has passed. He wakes up from his sleep and checks for a signal in his mobile phone again. While he's standing up, he accidentally drops his phone on the ground and the phone is shattered completely. To survive, he takes off his leather shoe and urinates in it. He then drinks his urine under extreme thirst. Being separated from the outside world, the man starts to get crazy. His loneliness and hunger is making him go insane. While he's hitting the light tube to let his frustration out, he suddenly spots a key in the shade of one of the overhead fluorescents, so immediately knocks off the light to get the key. Using the key, the man successfully opens the cupboard. Inside it, he finds two cans of pure oxygen and some tools, including a hammer and a chisel. Together with a piece of welding equipment, which is an oxyacetylene torch, he takes the tools from the cupboard to break the iron door, but it's useless. Then he decides to burn the door with the assembled welding equipment. With the torch, he attempts to burn through the door, but the problem is he doesn't know how to use the tool. He gives up after just a few minutes and succeeds in doing no more than scorching the surface. The flame of the welding gun rekindles his hope of life. He then tries to light the fire alarm with the flame, hoping to obtain some water in this way, but unexpectedly, it's a fake alarm that doesn't work at all. Then he switches the flame toward the iron door, trying to burn the locked door. However, the iron door remains unbreakable. Next, we see that he plans to use the mallet and chisel to try to chip away through one of the vault walls, but he fails to do so as the iron door is indestructible. The lack of water and hunger makes him feel frustrated again. In depression, he begins to abandon himself and knocks down the cupboard to vent his emotions wildly. He also smashes the siren down. After venting his anger, he sits down in the corner to rest. In the absence of food, he wants to save his energy as much as possible. While doing so, the man suddenly notices a hole in the wall behind the cupboard. He picks up the hammer and the chisel to dig the hole, attempting to make a tunnel to escape. As the oxygen in the room slowly runs out, the man has to take some pure oxygen from the can. However, the high concentration of oxygen makes him dizzy. He closes the valve of the oxygen can, after which he feels better. What's more, he finds something to eat if he wants to survive. The dead mouse on the ground begins to grow maggots, which catches his attention. The strong desire for survival makes him pick up the crawling maggots and swallow them. He has to do so, though he's sick of the maggots. After that, he continues to work on digging the hole. With his unremitting efforts, the hole becomes bigger, and he can even see the steel bars inside the wall. He uses the welding gun to cut off the steel bars. Soon after, a beam of light comes in through the hole inspiring the man instantly. Eventually, the man has dug a hole big enough through the wall and is able to break through into the next vault. He can't wait any longer to get through it. To the man's shock, the space outside of the wall is just a similar room as the one he had stayed in. 
The man falls apart at the moment as his efforts go in vain. He starts to hit the iron door hysterically to show his anger. After letting out his anger, the man composes himself and starts to investigate the second vault, in which he discovers a standard lamp and a red coffin in the corner. He cautiously opens the lid of the coffin and is surprised to find a beautiful woman lying inside. She's wearing a traditional dress and sleeping like a baby. The woman doesn't seem dead, so the man wakes her up in a minute. But awakened from her dream, the woman seems to be terrified by the man and the environment. The man tries to communicate with her, but matters aren't helped by the fact that they can't understand each other due to their differences in languages. In fear, the woman flees to hide in the man's original room. The man's too exhausted to explain anything, so he chooses to sleep in the coffin for the night. However, he has soon been awakened by the scared woman. The woman urges him to continue digging the tunnel, but the man has lost the strength to continue working as he's too hungry and thirsty. Besides, his hands have gotten hurt after days of work. He has to drop the tools and have a rest. The woman thinks that the man is just slack. Then she picks up the tools and starts digging herself. However, it's not as simple as she thought. At this time, the woman suddenly wants to pee. She runs to the other room but gets stopped by the man before she takes off her pants. Communicating in body movements, the woman begins to understand what he means. It turns out that the man hasn't had water for three days. Her urine is an important water source for him to survive. Though in hesitation, the woman urinates in one of the man's shoes. The man drinks her urine desperately without a second thought. Although the woman can't understand his language, she also drinks a little of the urine under his guidance. The man also shows her to eat maggots of the dead mouse to keep her alive, but the woman instantly refuses to do so. After taking something to eat, the man continues to dig the tunnel. However, he can only smash a tiny hole after a long time of work. The woman feels desperate and can't help sobbing. The optimistic man cheers her up by singing a song. With the encouragement of the man, the woman wipes her tears and starts to sing with him. The man accidentally hurts his finger while working. The woman quickly pulls off her headscarf to bandage the wound for him. They gradually develop a deep friendship and adversity. Eventually, they start working in cooperation. While they concentrate on working together, the lock of the iron door, which is on the opposite side of the room, begins to rotate itself. They rush over immediately, but the lock soon returns to its original position. After several attempts, they learn how to get the door to open of its own volition. The man finds that as long as they turn their backs to the door, the lock will open automatically. As a result, they slowly get close to the iron door, turning their backs to it. Sure enough, the door finally opens in this way, and they successfully access the third room. To their despair, there's a similar room out of the door in which there's an empty grave with a tombstone and a similar iron door. The smart woman quickly returns to their previous room to get all the tools that they need. After searching the new room, they try to open the iron door of this room using the same method, but the door remains locked whatever they do. They can do nothing but only dig the grave, wishing to make a new tunnel in it. By this time, the man is more or less running on an empty stomach and is already dehydrated. The hopeless work nearly collapses him. The woman is bearing up far better under the privations because she's done a lot less physical labor. She soon notices that the man begins to have a fever because of dehydration. The man suddenly realizes the true and evil intention of the mastermind who trapped them in here. The man believes that their captor wants to watch them kill each other in despair, which means that they won't get out from here unless one of them dies and the grave in this room will be the destination to one of them. To end their torture, the man immediately thinks of killing the woman. However, he fails to go through with his idea and gives up on his plan to kill her. He gives up the idea to kill the woman and therefore he throws himself in the grave. By now, he has given up his hope and is unwilling to make any efforts to escape. The woman kicks and beats the man, trying to keep him conscious in this way, but the man has no reactions at all. The woman tries her best to drag him out of the grave and comforts him to sleep. She also becomes uneasy at this time. She shouts at the iron door loudly, hoping that there will be a response outside. However, she can't find any solution to get out there either. In order to keep the man alive, she feeds him with her tears. If the man dies, she won't be able to survive either. Moments later, the woman begins to take off her clothes. Though in weakness, the man realizes what she's going to do. Fortunately, the man gradually wakes up through her gentle comfort. He's capable of little more than crawling around. Ultimately, the woman is able to arouse him from apparent death for a round of therapeutic lovemaking. After the weakest and exhausted hormone game, they both tried and fall asleep together on the ground. When the man wakes up again from his sleep, he notices the woman curling up beside him. He struggles to the second room to tear off a piece of velvet lining from the coffin and then covers the woman with it. Before long, the weak man faints again. In a daze, he seems to hear the sound of the lock rotating. He immediately awakens the sleeping woman, and according to the previous method, they turn their backs to the iron door to get closer. So far, the man has become too weak to walk by himself. 
With the help of the woman, he stumbles to get to the iron door. Luckily, the door opens this time. An entirely different scene comes into their view. The world outside the iron door is as beautiful as heaven with waterfalls, birds, and flowers everywhere. They look at the bliss in front of them and give each other a pleasing smile. This movie has a rating of 4.5 on IMDb. At the box office, it earned approximately $39 million. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment down your thoughts on the movie. And before you leave, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more movie recaps.